going to be a video review of the in-wall smart switch by Moe's, M-O-E-S. Now before I do the unboxing, let me tell you a little bit about this switch and why it is different than other switches. This switch does not need a faceplate. The faceplate would be the trim that would go around this. A lot of these switches you need to use the faceplate that comes with it, which means that you can't use this in a one, two, or three gang outlet box. This can use the regular switch plate that you have. This is just replacing the switch inside the junction box. Package open, so let me do a quick description of everything and then I'm going to go and do the install. So we have the faceplate. They did give you a faceplate if you want to use this. I was looking at the instructions. It also allows you to connect this to a three-way switch. I don't know how, but they do have additional instructions if you want to connect it to a three-way switch. So it comes with your faceplate. The switch comes with a wire nut, only wire, one wire nut, so uh, an additional piece of wire over here, which would probably be needed for your neutral wire, I believe. And then we've got two screws for the junction box, and then we've got the instructions. The advantage of using a switch like this is you can get voice control if you install Alexa or Google. Or if you just want to use it on the cell phone, you can install the Smart Life app, which is very easy to get online and it's free, available from Apple or Google for your Android phone. If my videos help you out, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like. If you want to donate to my channel on YouTube, Learning Chords, please ask for my PayPal info. And if you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will definitely attempt to do a good review of the pros and cons of your product. As I look at this, this is again, remember I said that this comes with a faceplate, whereas most of them you have to use the faceplate that is included with the switch. This also has screw connections on the back and on the side. I'm assuming you can only do it internally over there. Now a lot of the other switches mandate that you use the wires that are attached internally. So this is a nice feature that you don't have to use that. You can just put your wires into the back. It will make it much easier to install this. These are large switches. Make no mistake about that. Um, this also has a dimming function, I believe, and that is what this is for. And we've got the on and the off. Very important. You've got your live and your load, which will be in the outlet junction box always and you will usually have a ground. You got the screw for the ground over there. Neutral, you must have a neutral wire in the junction box. If you don't, you won't be able to use this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my junction box. I'm going to show you how this gets connected and we'll go from there. Everything that is wrong with a lot of the other switches on the market is perfect on this switch. I want to show you the difference between the in-wall smart switch and the competition and this is where it really makes a difference. This one does not require a faceplate as I told you so you can put this in a one gang, a two gang, a three gang, a three-way uh, junction setup. This one you're going to require the faceplate that comes with it so this can only go in a single gang junction box. The other thing is these, all of these are very large but there's enough room in the junction box. When you start connecting all these wires you've got four wires plus the four wires that they were connected to plus wire nuts. You run out of room inside the junction box very easily unless you have an extra large junction box. The advantage of buying this brand of in-wall smart switch is that you don't have all these wires to connect. You don't have to deal with any of that. All you need to do is take the wires that you already have in the box, put them into the screw openings over here, tighten down the screws, and chances are the only wire that you are going to have to worry about is the neutral wire. And as I showed you, it comes with, let me get that over here, it comes with the wire nut that you're going to need and the extra wire to connect it to the neutral wire. Very easy to connect compact, very simple, and that's the advantage of the in-wall smart switch.
The important thing is make sure you do not have power on the circuit. Not only am I going to turn off the circuit breaker, which I've already done, but I'm also going to make sure that the switch is off. I'm going to use a meter to make sure there is no power on any of the wires. And even after that, I'm going to be very careful making sure not to have contact with the wires inside the outlet box. Use a screwdriver to remove the screws holding the switch into the junction box. Remove the switch from the box. Well, that's not good because you can see that as I did that, the wires popped directly out of the switch. Not safe at all. So it's a good thing that we're replacing this. You're going to want to remove all the wires in the junction box so that you can work on your circuit. You have four wires that you're going to be dealing with. In my situation, I've got the white wire over here, which is going to be the neutral. I have the bare wire or the green wire, which is going to be the ground. And then I have two wires. One of them is going to be the live wire and the other is going to be the load. Ground wire will go to the screw on the top. Neutral, the white wire, will go into this port. Line will go into this port and load will go into this port. When you connect the line and the load, if you do it the wrong way, the switch is not going to work. Line is going to be the wire that always has power connected to it, no matter what. Load will be the wire going up to the light, and that only has power when the switch is turned on. So we're going to test it out to find out which one is line and which one is load. This is the dangerous part, so use caution when you have power on live wires. I have a meter here, and I am going to be checking the voltage going from the neutral to this wire, and it shows that I have no power. Then I'm going to go to this wire, and that should show 120 volts, which it does. So this is the line, because the line is connected to the circuit breaker, and this is the load, the load being the lamp. Going to do this again so you can see it on the meter, on the neutral, and this should be the line. There's the 120 volts, and this is the load, which should have nothing until the switch is connected. Now that I double-checked my circuit to make sure there is no power after I turned off the circuit breaker, remember I said this was the line, that is going to go into the hole that says line. You need to be aware that in the U.S. we call it line and load. On the switch they call it live and load. Live being the line or wire that has the power going to the circuit breaker. I have unscrewed all the screws on the switch and now I'm going to do my first insertion of the live or line wire into the hole and then I'm going to tighten the screw. I'm inserting the wire into the back of the switch. Make sure that you don't have any bare wire hanging out of the back of the switch as you do this. Tighten down the screw with enough force so that the wire will not come out like you saw at the beginning of my video when I removed the original switch. That's okay, there's a little bit of bare wire showing at the back, that's not a problem. I've got the live wire in there, or the line wire, and now I'm going to loosen the load screw, and I'm going to insert that into the back of the switch, and then I'm going to tighten that down. Package that comes with the switch, I showed you that we have a neutral wire, and we have two screws for the junction box, which you will probably not need because you should be able to use your original screws, and we have the wire nut. It'll be difficult to do this on video because my hands are going to be blocking everything, but I'm going to be taking the white wire that came with the package, I'm going to put it against the load wires, and then I'm going to screw the wire nut on there. Don't bundle everything up. Just lay it down, lie it down straight with the wire. Don't twist anything, and then take the wire nut, put it on all the way, and then you will use some electrical tape 
for safety reasons in case anything comes loose. Situation, since I had so many wires in the junction box, I used the original wire nut instead of the wire nut that came with it, which would not allow all those extra wires. So I've got all my wires in there tightened down, and now I'm going to get some electrical tape and wrap it around just for protection. That is the white wire added, and then you can see I've got lots of electrical tape on here holding everything in here tightly and securely. So now I'm going to attach the white wire to the neutral, and then all I have to do is connect the ground and we are finished. Took my bare ground wire and I put a little loop on there, which is now going to go underneath the ground screw. And that completes the installation. I've got my ground wire, I have my neutral wire, the line or live and the load. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the circuit breaker, power it on, and we'll see what happens. Right now, the power is on. Let me turn the switch and see if this is up or down. The light just came on in the room. How much easier could it be than that? Okay, I've got my work light off. Let's power down. This should be off. And that should be on. So, how much easier could it be? This is an incredible product, and now I'm going to show you how to use it. Remember, all of these screws will have power on them unless you turn off the breaker. So, turn off the breaker while you push everything back into the junction box. Use care. Go slowly. All the wires were in there originally, so you should have no problem pushing everything back in. That completes the installation of the light switch. You need to install the Smart Life app, which you can get on Google or Apple Play. So what I will be doing here is once I start up the app, I'm going to be clicking on wall switch and we should be able to detect the wall switch. Power on the device, it is powered on. Confirm that it is rapidly blinking. The dog came in, she wants to be involved in the installation. It's going to show you your password for your router after you get everything set up and then it's going to go, the light just went off, the light just went on, so we know that everything is connected. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So we're going to wait for it to finish doing what it needs to do. And then we will go over to the app on the cell phone. There we go. Everything's working. I'm so happy. Device successfully added. I'm going to click Done. There is the switch. This is my first time running the app over here. So let's see what happens when we press on this. Light goes off. What more could you ask for? technology in 2018. You can be in any room in the house as long as your cell phone is able to connect to the Wi-Fi router. You can turn the light on and off with your cell phone. Let's see if we have any options to rename anything. We can change the name. We should be able to modify the name, which you would just click over there and you would go in there and change your name. And we have timers we have the timer there. Let's go back. We have a timer. So you can set it up how long you want the light to stay on. That shows the third party apps that you can use on this switch Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, IFTTT, and Rokoid. Before I finish the video, I'm going to go to Alexa and see what happens when I use a voice command to control the switch. I just started Alexa and let's see what happens now. At the top you're gonna go to the bars over there and look for Smart Home. Let's scroll down. There's the switch that I installed. Let's click on that. Switch is off. Light just came on in the room. You can see over here the light came on. Light went off. And we've got all the other options that you will have with uh, Alexa. Let's try this. 
Alexa, turn switch on. Light just came on over there. Alexa, turn switch off. Okay. We see everything is connected by Smart Life. It is a switch. Everything is enabled. And we'll do this one last time. Alexa, turn switch on. Okay. This is going to conclude my review and installation video, the Inwall Smart Switch by Moe's. Remember, watch all my other videos. Please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, or a like. If you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will. Thank you for watching my video on the YouTube channel Learning Chords.